Hi there, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. And this is the video I promised from my home sense uh, last minute Christmas shopping vi shopping video. So um, in this video, we'll be doing um, a creating actually a gift set to give to someone. So um, thank you so much for being here at your space, my channel. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you uh, supporting me and um, liking my videos and commenting i really appreciate it so anyways i um got this beautiful box from home sense and um it was just a perfect price and i like the design on it it was um it's very it has a very festive feel and i know the person who i'm giving it to absolutely loves christmas and i know that she'll appreciate uh the, the festive uh, look of this box and today I'm going to be um, just putting together everything in this box and tying it up with this beautiful ribbon I got from um, from Martha Stewart uh, recently and I got this from HomeSense. So the first thing we'll be putting in our gift box is one of the, one of the things is this um, chocolate box. And this chocolate box I got from HomeSense as well. And uh, it's... Um, I, I like the shape of it. I like, I, I don't know the, um, I like the shape of the box, but I don't know how the, I don't know how the chocolate tastes because I haven't tried this brand before, but, um, it looks very beautiful. So I hope that she likes it when she opens it up. And the other thing that I wanted to put in this, in, in this gift box was, um, a Starbucks, uh, gift card. And you can never go wrong with a Starbucks gift card. I absolutely love to, uh, slip in a gift card like this. And I just wanted to let you guys know that, you know, I think everyone knows this, but just this is just a refresher. Uh, don't ever, you know, if you someone gives you a Starbucks gift card, don't throw it out after you're done using it because you can register the card on Starbucks and in its app, and uh, you can actually collect points. So um, make sure you keep those um, gift cards or Starbucks gift cards if someone gives it to you. You know you can reuse it and and get get like awesome stuff, uh, back like uh, you know you can get your free coffee, your free sandwiches, and um, and all the good stuff. I've I've experienced it many times with my points. So you collect all these points and you get get great stuff. So, um, I'll just I th I just thought to put this out here just in case if you know if we sometimes we sometimes do forget to do that so i got this very beautiful and festive looking starbucks card with this snowman i thought this was perfect for her and and, and i know she will absolutely love it and um you know it's winter here in canada and it's very cold so it'll, it's always nice to give someone um a card from a coffee shop so it's still you know if they're walking to work or catching the bus they can always grab a, a warm drink and, it'll, and it's a very beautiful Christmas gift as well. So here we are. I'm just going to actually open up this box and we'll start filling it up with all the good stuff. And I like the design on this um, box inside as well. So it's um, it has a very nice festive feel inside. So I got these beautiful tissue from HomeSense as well. And um, I just liked, um, I liked the design of... Uh, of the off it wasn't too uh you know too vibrant i wanted it to sort of uh, match the the box that that we bought and um i wanted to have a very nice sort of a soft look so i'm probably going to go use with the floral one with the green with this one and maybe use uh, a plain green tissue as well so i'm just going to tuck this right in i'm not going to worry about anything in particular or folding it in a fancy way or anything like that i'm just going to Plop it in here very simply and just make sure it sits well on all the sides. So I'm just going to grab my green tissue paper and um, I'm not, I'm just going to uh, tuck this in at an angle. I'm not going to go just straight down. So I just give it an angle look. So um, I just want to make sure that it it sits well um, again on all the sides. So I'm going to first of all place our mucklucks, our boot socks, ladies boot socks in, in the box first. 
and um, as you saw in my previous video these mucklucks are have been very popular for me but i used these last year in my gift sets and i bought one for myself too so, and and i love them they're so nice and so comfortable and warm and uh, so that's perfect and i thought this was a perfect gift to uh, give again to someone so i'm just going to tuck my socks right in here and and the socks just fits perfectly nice and snug against this box and i like the size of this box uh, one tip if you are planning on doing a gift set like this uh, make sure when you are shopping for your gifts you have already bought your gift box so then you can actually make sure that whatever you buy going forward everything will be able to fit in your box so um if you're you know shopping at a place like home sense you can grab the box right there if you're getting stuff from there as well or another place make sure that everything kind of fits really nice and um tightly and inside the box and then you can kind of like you know like for, for my socks i just want to push it a little bit towards the walls and then socks is perfect to work uh, to work with when you're doing a gift sets and the next thing we want to do is put our chocolate right in here and the chocolate is of course the perfect size it fits the box very nicely so next we are going to be placing our um starbucks card St starbucks card that she can absolutely use uh, with whatever amount that i've loaded on it Plus, it'll be a, a gift they'll keep on giving for sure throughout the year if she registers her card on, on the Starbucks app. And then I just wanted to put a small wreath here um, on, on the box, uh, sorry, on the, on the card, just to give it a nice festive look when she picks it up. So very small details always um, enhance uh, a, a gift uh, set like this, especially if you're creating it yourself. There's so many little details you can pay attention to. And then I just wanted to tuck in a little bit of a, a Christmas cheer for her. So I have this Christmas tree. And I just, what I did was I just glue gunned some um, uh, um, colorful pom-poms on it right around the Christmas tree. Just to give it a nice festive feel. So she has, um, so when she opens this gift set, It'll, it'll look very pretty it'll look very festive and then she'll be like what is this you know she can see what it is but it, it'll make you your whole idea of creating a gift set is to make somebody smile and uh, we know the people who are in our lives you know uh, we we know what they're like and and I'm and one of the best things we can do is throughout the year when we are with the people we care about, our friends, our colleagues, um, our best friends, our brothers and sisters, you know, throughout the entire year when we talk to people, we can gauge the things they like and who they are, their personalities. So come Christmas, we can take advantage of all the really good stuff we know about them and, and sort of put it into their gifts or the gift sets and kind of make them, you know, make them feel appreciative of who they are so before i close up uh, my second tissue layer i just wanted to put a small mini wreath right here in the center of the green one and then i'm just going to fold over again nothing fancy we're just going to keep this very simple and just fold these over here And for the sides, I'm just going to just roll up, roll up the paper and just tuck it in. So again, nothing fancy. We're keeping everything very simple for these gift sets. I'll be doing the same thing here on the other side as well. If you feel like um, that you need to put some cello tape, please go ahead and do so. I'm just doing this just to um, show you how I would just, you know, if I'm doing this very quickly, I just won't put a cello tape. I'll just tuck everything in. But if I need to use a cello tape, I will definitely do that. So I think this um, gift set looks perfect, just the way it is, and I don't think it needs anything more. Then just a lid to go right on top, 
and to fit snug on top of it. Now, if you feel like, um, depending on what you have in your box, if you feel like it's kind of like it's not sitting properly or um, it's kind of wobbly and uh, yet it does close when you press it down, that's absolutely fine because we will be putting our ribbon on top, on top of the box and this should. Uh, you know, seal it down uh, really, very, really, very nicely. So, um, coming up now, we are going to be doing our green ribbon. For this green ribbon, um, I will be cutting out two long strips, two long strips of ribbon, uh, just good enough to go around my box. So with my first ribbon that I cut, I am just going to uh, so straighten it out here. It's such a nice and uh, rich looking uh, ribbon. It's nice and velvet. And so I'm just going to take this first one and I'm just going to go right below my, my gift box. So I'm just going to slide my ribbon right underneath. And I'm just going to pull up both of the ends and I'm going to take it right to the center and I'm going to make a really nice uh, bow right in the middle. And I want to do this as neatly as I possibly can. And I'm going to tie a knot right in the middle so it pulls both ends together and brings everything right to the center. So it's a, it's a, it's a nice, neat and clean look. So this is how it looks in the center right now. And then what we will be doing next is we will be bringing in our second uh, ribbon that we cut, which is the same size as this one, and put it on the opposite direction. So I'm just going to tuck my second ribbon right underneath. And you might have noticed that um, I've split my ribbons in twos to do this. This is how I have been doing ever since I remember. So this is exactly how I'm going to show you. This is a very simple way of doing doing your um, your gift wrapping on top with your ribbon. So I'm just going to just pull these two together. I'm just going to hold a little bit in the center and I'm going to tuck the rest of the ribbon underneath the first ribbon. So tuck it in so that everything kind of um, uh, kind of like it closes in within one another. And I'm just going to make a nice knot. And just pull to make sure everything is all nice and set in the center. And then we'll just create a nice bow with everything that's loose, with all the four ribbons. So we'll make some nice little bows and make sure everything looks really nice right in the middle. So I hope this, this hack of uh, doing a ribbon like this, tying it on a box, is easy for you because this is how I've been doing mine for ever since I remember. I think when I was 19 years old, I didn't know how to take a whole ribbon and kind of swirl it right around the box and tie and bring it back and tie it like a bow. So this is how I figured out how to do it. And I've always, it's just become such a habit now. Even though I do know how to do the other one, the other kind now, but I prefer to do exactly how I've been doing for a very long time. So if you've, you know, if you've had problems uh, using the other method, the very popular method, then this is probably a much more easier way to do this. And then what I, what I'm going to do is just cut the sides of um, the edges of my ribbon, it just in a nice slanted cut and then we all and it looks kind of nice and we're all set to do something else to this all this uh, needs now is just some fresh greenery your gift should never leave your home without some fresh greenery if you have if you have it available or any kind of leaf anything on top of your your um gifts are just 
It's just absolutely gorgeous to put some greenery on your gift. It just enhances the gift so naturally, uh, especially for the winter season. So when I was making my Canadian Tire Christmas video, and if you guys have seen it, you would have noticed that they had these deers. And they have had these deers for a very long time over the years. And I thought, you know, I hadn't... Um, I hadn't seen these for a while and they brought back a lot of memories. So I thought, okay, they were just like for 99 cents. So I thought instead of putting it on a tree or something like that, it would be just perfect if I would just, if I could just use it on top of one of my gifts. And I think this box and the way the colors are and the way the greenery kind of falls uh, in between the, the ribbon, I thought this definitely calls for this silver deer. So I what I did was I just... Um, I used my scissors to sort of um, cut the, the hook part of it, the, the string part of it, cut it in half, and then I just put it, as you see, I put it underneath the, the ribbon. And I'm just wanting to tie, I just want to tie a, so a knot right here, just, to, just so that it securely stays in place. And then you can cut off the extra string if you want, if it's quite long. And it just is just such a magical way of um, just enhancing your gift. I mean, look at how pretty this looks. It's very easy, very simple, a, a beautiful gift set that we hope that the recipient will actually um, be happy to receive and it'll bring a smile on their face and you'll be happy that you've done such an amazing job. In finding them, just the perfect gift to make their holiday season a little more merrier. So thank you so much for spending your time with me today. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. And I look forward to be seeing you in the next one.